bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free anymore. Now she's looking at this one. <laughs> hey, you should start eating it right now. I know, I, I want to wash my hands. I
good morning. It's a different day. But I am realizing that I wasn't great at transitioning clips the other day. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of, not like background or overview, I guess, um, of a couple things. So the other day when we were doing all our shopping and whatnot, um, we were actually in Human Souk, which the souks are kind of like, um, like I guess like an outdoor market. There are actually tons of souks. It's not specific just to Jerba. Um, Last time we were in Tunisia, we went to the souks in Hamamet. However, here in Jerba, Humet Souk, it is not only the biggest one, but also the oldest one. The city actually developed after the market. So it was kind of like the go-to place for um, trade trading, selling um, goods and stuff like that. And then over time, the city built up around the market itself. So I thought, just give you a little bit of an overview there. I also wanted to go ahead and show you some of the things that we got. Um, so we did end up going twice because the one time uh, I think I got a little bit of footage, but it was really dark. Um, we went closer to nighttime, hoping that it'd be less busy. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and show you. So the first thing, because we're actually like using it, it's one of these like reusable grocery bags. Um, this is something actually Dally wanted. It's come in handy, like since we bought it, it has come super, super handy. We just use it for like going out for day trips. Um, it'll be great, great to use back home as well. They did have a whole bunch that said like Jerba or some of them said um, Tunisia. I kind of wanted one that was just like more neutral. And then if we're not using this on the daily back home, it'll make a like perfect toy bin for Elisa's stuff. So I thought I'd show you that one first. Another, I got another little bag here. So I really like these um, cute little bags. It comes with a shoulder strap as well as the little armhole or not armhole arm handle, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's just like one of those little purses. Perfect for a day trip. It has the Hannah Fatma on the front. There's that one. Um, I did get a set of makeup truces. So this comes in a set of three. I'm not going to open it just for packing purposes, but it has like, oh, you can't even see it, but she's got like bright red lips, a red hat. And yeah, I like that it has the wider bottom. Um, a lot of them are just like flat, but this makes it a lot easier for like little jars or like my serums that I kind of want to stand upright because they are glass and I don't want them to break. I am like notorious for buying things from Tunisia for our home back home. Um, example, the, picture, the painting I bought back in 2017 that was a struggle to get back home just because it's so big um anyway so i went with something a little smaller this time around so this is for your keys to hang your um it's kind of dark oh there we go to hang your keys wallet things like that just in the house so it hangs up like that i really like it because it's wood so it's not going to break on the way home um and then we got like some free magnets Actually, I should have known, like, a lot of places will end up giving you, like, if you buy more than one item, they'll end up giving you, like, a thank you free magnet. So I shouldn't have gone ahead and bought <laughs> these magnets for my mom. I should have waited, but I don't know if that'll focus. If I put it over my face, maybe. A little camel. This one's, oops. This one's a little camel laying down. <laughs> and they both say gerba. This one we got for Elisa. We still have to clean it, but um, I think she'll love making noise with this. I don't know, it just says Tunisia on it. A nice little toy that she can kind of play with. Um, she's absolutely obsessed with, she has like a little piano. And then this was kind of like our bigger thing that we bought for our home. Not so much bigger, but just like, it's a whole set. So we have a little honey, um, honey thing. I don't know. We have salad spoons, um, serving spoons some little like sugar spoons. Also I'm gonna use them for Elisa, but it's just in the blue, like a blue Tunisian design. You'll probably see these around our house more um, since they're gonna go with our kitchen once we find a place. Um, so that's pretty much it, I think, for what we got in the souks. Um, it was a lot less busy with COVID. I did still wear a mask like the entire time, even when we were like technically outside. Um, but yeah, 
Um, when it comes to cost of things, I don't remember the individual cost of each of those, but all together that was less than $60 um, Canadian. So yeah, I'll see you in the next clip.